components are located basically in front of the unit, so we do not have anything attached to the top. So service clearances are recommended, just as we might have to access a few of these, but virtually zero clearance appliance, so it can be mounted and installed pretty much anywhere. So the first thing we'd like to talk a little bit about today is the hot water out and how we would hook that up and what is available for options on that. Of course, in a standard system, when you're going in and replacing a heater, you may just be pulling one out and replacing with this. And in that case, they're going to have existing components that we're going to hook into. Um, and all we would do is, is hook onto our tank and back into their system, providing all those components are in good shape. If we're going into a new install, there are a few possibilities that we could do with this unit. Uh, we could have just a standard hot water piping where we deliver hot water out to the system. We may have a mixing valve here, which will limit the temperature coming out of it regardless of what's going on inside the tank. We may want to set the tank temperature a little higher and we want to maintain 120 degrees at a fixture. And in this case, we would add a mixing valve. Those are available through us or through local wholesalers. Those include a little bit more piping and require mm, some more components to make that happen. We also would require that when using our auxiliary taps, which we will get into a little bit later, when we're going to use a little bit central heating. We tend to store the temperature a little higher, so therefore we want to mix it down and make sure we're safe on this side. So as I mentioned, we have a one inch NPT male connection here, and all that is necessary for connections are copper or brass. Dielectric unions are not necessary for the stainless steel heater and will in fact cause more problems down the road. As we move forward, we also could add a recirculation line off the hot water heater. Recirculation line is a line with a small pump and a small line that goes to the farthest fixture and returns back to the tank, typically on the cold water inlet side. And what this does is allow the user to open a hot fixture and have hot water immediately. However, when we do this, we're moving some water, some hot water back to the tank, we may drop the temperature so you may find that the heater runs a little more than it would typically without a recirc line. And our installation manual will guide you through these exact practices and what's required for that application.